Good kitten internet. I couldn't resist given that Boo was looking directly at the camera. Anyway, I'm back. Let me launch OBS again. Or not OBS. OBS is already running me. Derp, 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 Right, I'm up now. I've done my memory card cleaning. Um, we have apparently had. We have had 41 saves of Wild Arms 1 so far. 41. Ah. It's starting to feel like some of the plot's wrapping up. Also, Boo has decided to stand up. She's a little skittish today. I This is the first time that I tried to have Boo and they soon out. It lasted about five minutes. First time in a long time, I should say. Um, Boo actually attacked us soon. I think. It's really hard for me to tell because um, cats had distracted me and my back was turned. Anyway, as you see, slot one is down to just one save. And this is the copied over from the other memory card. So. Alright, and we're back in Adelaide. Almost, but not quite have enough money to continue on our, um, whatchamacallit, uh, donation spree. But I would rather spend the money elsewhere at the moment. Namely over here. Okay, so these are 10,000... I don't care about hit percentage on that, and 5,000, okay. 500, 100, 200. Should drop the volume on my ears. At least get it up to a thousand cost, which I think it's at now. Nope, not quite yet. Because again, Prism Ray is probably going to be one that I use out of, um, whatchamacallit, uh, outside of boss battles or outside of me using aim. So I actually care about, um, its, uh, hit bonus. Alright, now we're at the thousands. Let's go ahead and increase damage. I think that puts us to 5,000, yeah. All right, 90% is a pretty good hit bonus. And honestly, 10 bullets is probably fine. Let's keep it like that, because we're gonna need to spend money when we get to the next town. Which, there's not too many towns left in the game, actually. Uh, yeah, let's head out. Oh, so each time that we do um, one of the... Uh, expansions more people get added so yep they're starting to talk about the outer ocean that probably means we're going to be hitting the outer ocean not that long so um one of the things i like doing is checking to see if there's any new people with new things to say i mean we've already seen situations where there's new people doing things yep giant's cradle is actually where we're going next by the way Because we've actually found the two keys for it, even though we didn't realize it. Thanks, game. Anyway, how are you? It's about 21 time-wise right now. cleared we don't have money to donate I need to imagine a ship full of casualties but there are no hospitals at sea
Yep, but there's one safe because we technically didn't go to uh, Saint Centaur. At some point, I will actually do Saint Centaur again off camera, but we actually don't need anything from there, so I'm just curious to see how long this will last. Anyway, I don't notice anybody new. It might be the next donation that we get somebody new. And because Boo left. There. Get Maya. Alright, now I think it's over here. Like here. Random battle time! I'm injured. Why am I injured? I'm maximum MP. That doesn't make any sense. Did I get into a random encounter on the way here from last time? I don't remember. Oh well, doesn't matter. Critters have been defeated. And we've gained even more heal berries. By the way, we will eventually be maxed out on heal berries without trying. So the giant's cradle is where we want to go next. Because these two holes. Sacrifice the innocent heart to the sleeping giant. Sacrifice the innocent heart to the sleeping giant. So we've got blue virtue. And we've got red malice. By the way, I don't think you're actually told to do this. I seem to remember um, the first time playing through the game getting stuck at this point because I couldn't figure out where to go. Yeah, don't run forward. I should... Okay, I don't hear anything. I don't even think there's enemies in here. Ooh. Press graph. Press graph. This is the crib of eternal sleep. No one must interrupt it. So we're going to be getting into some pretty heavy plot stuff. Hopefully it won't get screwed up. Um, and once more, I'm going to remind you all. I still saw myself. Okay, there are enemies here. Um, I still saw myself as these characters. These three characters were basically parts of my personality. Oh yeah, I can finally analyze these things. And for some rain. Bing, boop, bing. So they have a decent amount of defense. Level 25, 700 hit points, weak against thunder. Okay, so spark will do it. I mean, they're probably dead from prism rain? No, not quite. Right. I'm gonna trickster them next turn. Oh, actually, right. I have that guide that I grabbed, so I can actually tell. These are raid busters. Trickster list. Uh, raid buster. Oh, it has an unknown drop. So I'm trying to get uh, Cecilia because I get to use an ability for the first time. So Mystic Bone. Where'd the bone go? Oh darn it! I don't have the bone because that's in Saint Centaur. Oh, I just took damage for no reason. No big deal. They don't have anything loot-wise. Oh well. Nothing there. Well, that definitely looks like something I'm gonna have to grapple. I didn't even notice it. Getting tricks again. 
Trixie. Why did I stop too soon? How much damage I'm taking from that? Not that much. Okay. Right? We're basically just going up, height wise. So it's going to be a giant thing going up. Looks like we need to open that door. And we need to push that thing to do it. Push it down. Over. Up. Not quite what I meant to do. Works though. Who kitty's jumping up on the windowsill? That's fine. Although I should keep an ear open just in case. Well, that's gonna be obnoxious. I'll give you a hint. It's kind of hard to push one of these blocks when you have spikes coming out underneath your feet. things are not exactly pretty. Uh, they have medicine for their drop. I don't care. Analyze them. So I'm just using the um, game packs guide for the drop list. Just because I know... Oh, we can fire. Okay. Things are creepy. And they disease, which makes sense as to why they drop medicine. Um, the reason why is that there are some bosses that have, uh, things that you need to steal from them, and it's not easy to tell that they do. I probably could have just killed them with a flame. I have enough magic, I should probably be thinking about that more often. Uh, poor Rudy is diseased. So, um, what the bone does, by the way, is it uses an ability called Lucky Shot. It's a very, um, low damaging attack. think something sounds like a food. No! No! The guilty one! I was just keeping it open for the nice breeze, but no! You had to go start trying to eat your treats. I have, uh, her treats are in a, uh, Kitty. Oh. Kitty got scared. Um, her treats are in a little plastic container thing inside of the bathroom because it's one of the few rooms that in the house that usually cats do not go into. As in, they don't go in there because I close the door. Alright, how weak to fire are you actually? Also, getting a little tired of this disease thing. You're not that weak against it. Okay. In other words, you can't just one-shot them yourself, Cecilia. I'm sorry. Naturally, Cecilia is the only one that doesn't have force up. I...
went 1200 hit points left. So, like, that would already be dead by now, but okay. It means it's probably not worth it to bother with using magic. Also, Celia, how about you heal some people? Also, we could lose a little bit of defense to get jobs of hit points. All right. Okay. That's not, not where I meant to go. Right, derp. I could just have walked over in here. Ah, dang it, me. There. Rudy has gobs of it. Oop. Magic carrot. I like carrots. Nom, 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 nom. I'm at loopy o'clock right now. I just felt like playing more. Yeah, haven't we fought these before in like normal spots? Ah, you, you, that's right, it's gonna flash me. Oh, everybody got flashed. Great. Maybe there's a pallet swap version? I can't remember now. I really don't understand why Cecilia. Oh. Why her force level doesn't go up as fast. Oh, everybody's been flashed. I'm not going to bother healing that. It's not worth it. Not unless if I can mystic it. More carrots. <sighs> what am I fighting this time? More of them. Well, on the plus side, they flashed me again. Nothing bad's really going to happen. Stop earlier. Damn. And this is what we came here for. Or do anything else. Okay. Wow. Alright. Can't be. Another one sleeps in this desolate room. One of the eight powers from a thousand years ago. That's supposed to be golems. A weapon built by humans to fight the demon race. But what do we do now? I need to figure out how to operate this thing. I know, it's an overwhelming feeling. The power! I want the power! So the only useful thing this does is fight? Is that what you're trying to tell me? We're going to awaken it to fight? Sword is made for cutting and a spear is for stabbing. Mercy is precious, but mercy can also be an indulgence in a wor world like ours. Jeez, Jack. Sorry, but let's ask that strange professor. She seems okay. You mean Emma and Adelaide? Yep. This is why we have the escape spell, folks. Also, the Fort of the Gods is an impenetrable machine protected by a magic seal. 
This is where the lines blur between defense and offense. Escape! And we're off to go to Adelaide. Almost can get there without a random battle. Not quite. And they're pill bugs. But I can't counterattack them. First off, might as well hit the church to cure flash. I do find it interesting that. That type of an ability in most games would be blindness, which would give you a crappy chance to hit. In this game, it just makes your counterattack suck. It's kind of weird. Also, actually remembering to reload my ammo. I'm still not rich enough to donate the next tier, which kind of sucks. I think Cecilia should be the one to ask. Found another golem at the back of the ruin? Please take me there, you won't be sorry! I have experience with the Tome of Lava that I remember. Lucky for you and lucky for me. Why do I feel like I'm the only one talking here? I guess I have the traits of a person born to be a I guess I have the traits of a person born to be a in charge. Okay, the Gaia Defense Forest! Let's go take a look at this golem. At this point in the game, I believe, is when uh, Emma joins your party in the remake. Emma is a blue mage, which is interesting. Um, yeah, not much more I can say about that. Don't worry, we get one of those in Wild Arms too. And we get to find out more about them. And uh, My intention is to actually use that blue mage as a character that I'm playing as primarily, whereas I normally don't. We shall see. When I go through Wild Arms too. I never thought I would see this while I'm still in my 30s. Hey guys, this is great. You must have good karma like me. I'm gonna go check it out. Hey Bouncy, give me a hand. You look like a candidate. What? What does that even mean? Bouncy. Emma don't care. Here's what I've learned so far. I call this guy the Earth Golem. I found some ancient writing on him pertaining to the Fort of the Gods, written on the shield mechanism located in both sides of the arms. Since the ruin is in such good condition, the Golem is in perfect working order. I think just stop working right now. I think this is a translation. I think this is a or mistranslation. I think this is supposed to say, this thing just suddenly stopped, but it's alive. Unlike Lolita, this golem's just sleeping. I tried to wake it, but it needs more than a little shove. Don't worry, when it comes to these matters, there's nothing I can't do. Let's go, Mousy. Let's try again. Fade to black. But this is important. This is really important, by the way. Wake up. Get up? Why? After 1,000 years, nothing has changed. People just want to use me as a weapon. Yes, that's right. Cecilia is able to talk to the golem and has been able to the entire time. I was born in a house that was a little different from ordinary people. As I grew up, I was looked after every inch of the way. What was really important to the people was the symbol I represented. Again, Cecilia is the person that I saw my uh, that I believed other people saw me as. So, just I keep 
accidentally not being in the center of the camera. It's slightly off from my perspective. Anyway, so yeah, there was a lot of this going through my head and a lot of self-examination from this. Everyone thinks that because I am royalty, I'm expected to act as one. Now, obviously, I'm not royalty, or I come from a very poor family, but, um, replace royalty with a couple of other things, and it's still fully accurate for me. People only like me because I'm the princess. Sorry. I didn't mean to tell you all of my problems. But you might understand. You didn't want to be born a weapon, either. Uh, what? You can actually understand me. No! No, go back to sleep! Everyone wants to use you as a weapon! No one must know that you're actually awake. Please, please just sleep. Wait until this is all over. You can hear past my voices. You can hear the cry of the people under fire. You must wake of your own free will. Yep. How? I tried everything and nada! You, what did you do? Uh, nothing, I was just talking to it. It decided on its own to get up. Who the hell cares? Now we have power! I want the power! We have the ancient antidote to the demons. No! It's not our weapon. It's joining as a member of the group. Hey guys! See? Earth Golem's in agreement. By the way, the Earth Golem's name is Asgard. That is important because they... I think this might be that they decided not to translate that. Because the Earth Golem is in every Wild Arms game. All of them. The same Asgard. That will become a lot more important when we start getting to the other Wild Arms games, but Asgard is the other thing that's in every game. Um, just like there's always a Asgard, there's always an Asgard. The voice pattern of the princess is now registered in Golem's memory. Please, lend me your big hand for the future future where you're no longer needed as a weapon. Yep. Meet the latest member of the party. It's Asgard. Asgard is just a wee bit more powerful than the rest of us. But if you remember from the opening video of the game, and I labeled Asgard there, yeah, this is Asgard. Obviously, it looks a little different in sprite form versus the FMV form, which is hand-drawn animation. But, uh, yeah. Asgard's pretty awesome. This is the point in the game where the heroes finally, finally actually got a break for them. Because, yep. Boink, 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 boink. Ride the Earth Golem, walk up to the Golem, and push the Accept button. You can dismount the Golem by pressing the Cancel button. Large enough to walk across shallow water, but too large to go through a forest. Yep. This is how we walk across shallow water, by the way. The shields on both sides keep enemies away while traveling. No random encounters. It's a little low on output. Too bad we can't expect more from it. Sure, I'd like to, I sure would like to upgrade its shields. The defensive golem. It's not made for battle, but it can cover a lot of ground. I have to get back to Adelaide to start the data from this discovery. A few things to try out. It could lead to a new Emma motor. And by the way, Emma steals the boat. But that's okay. Fix the boat comes back for us. But more importantly, we could walk in shallows now. Hell yeah. Danger, the snow monster is not for you to fight. Perhaps. That's a sign hinting that that particular area is very high level enemies. 
I mean, it's totally fightable in my mind. What, what can I do for you? So, we can finally buy each of the items that are... We're missing the Moonstone, which is weird. I'm wondering if we just missed it somewhere. Let me go search in a full FAQ for it. Uh, yes. It's in the castle. Okay. Where is that at? It's just in the castle somewhere. Eh, not that big of a deal. Um, let me open back up the trickster list. I'm not gonna bother buying one. Just checking to see if I have the rest. Oh, it's equipped. Yep, I have one of the rest. So that's fine. The one thing about the Earth Golem is that you don't necessarily see the zooming in camera effect when you're walking over an area. You have to be a little careful for that. So yeah, this, this is Artica. That's right, we're actually in Artica. National Treasure Photosphere Excavation Site. Off limits, Kingdom of Artica. That's right, the photosphere is in there. It's right there. No, really, here's the photosphere. Even the Orchid Golem cannot penetrate the force field. But at the moment, we can't do much with it. We'll be back later for it. What we want to do is go over here to Kurt Siam. Kurt Siam is a town that we haven't been to before. This is Court Sam, a village of orphans and people running from the monsters. This sounds like a nice place. There's stuff here. Also, we're still at 30 Gela. They're very polite. Jessica is beautiful and very nice. Jane is the toughest when it comes to fighting. She's also the nicest of all. Jane. We've called her our boss for years. It's unusual to call her sister Jane. Can we? We're proud of our boss. I want to be like her. Jane's our breadwinner, but we have no idea how she gets the money. entitled The Secrets of Rings. Rings worn on the left hand can enhance weapons or magic. Different rings can be used for different purposes. For example, the rest of the passage is smudged by children's scribbling. Oh, I thought my boss came back. You say that to everybody? Okay. My whole body feels weird. It doesn't feel like, like my body. Yep. Something weird's going on. It's the Gapple. Sweet. Regular item shop. Up, up on a couple of things. Skith round. Yeah, it's a weapon shop. Nope, oh, it's a ring shop. So, I am going to be buying, at the very least, the Holy and the Demon Ring. So the rings do three things. First, when you have the ring equipped, you always count as having that element on your attack. So it's a good way of getting, you know, like, instead of actually having to cast Light Blow, you can just have a Holy Ring equipped. And since you can equip and unequip before combat, that's not that big of a deal. Second thing, 
Is that you're immune or is it you absorb? I don't remember which. I think you absorb the damage that's dealt to you from that element. So if you're wearing a holy ring and something does light damage to you, you heal. The third thing, and the most important of all, and the reason why I'm absolutely buying at least one of every ring, you mystic it, you cast the spell for it. The attack spell for it. Which we can't cast right now from Holy or Demon. If I remember right, it might do light blow. I don't think it does. The children grew up in the orphanage. Always help out the new kids. They don't want them to feel the loneliness that they had to experience. So yeah, Court Siam's an interesting place. Next time the boss comes back, we're going to go on a picnic. Hell yeah. Power Apple. Even children must stick together. My sister and I grew up in the orphanage. Nothing bad can possibly happen to a town full of orphans, right? Contrail's not this cruel. How are we doing? Oh, we're actually fully healed. Okay. Hang in here. I'm watching the children. I see a glimpse of hope in this wasteland. Children like songs about heroic knights slaying monsters. This place gives me the creeps. Please, make yourself at home. Rest wrap. The loot here. Mr. Maxwell came to this town and spent his fortune on the children. Maxwell, huh? Oh, it's a criss crap shop. Nice. Oh, right. I forgot. We are completely full up. And we have four spare crest crafts. I really go for some advanced crest magic right about now. All right. Only the big house left. Long time ago, Mr. Maxwell began researching the ancient technology in the town of Milma. Or researching ancient technology, not the ancient technology. He moved here to house orphans that he took in from the wasteland. A lot of work to raise that many orphans. His two daughters act like big sisters to all the orphans. By the way, what is this thing that's directly above Rudy right now? I've been trying to figure out what it's supposed to in represent or indicate. It kind of almost looks like a coat rack, but maybe a giant stuffed animal, or I really don't know what that's supposed to be. It's been bothering me for a bit. Go downstairs. Playing the workings of arms under Nikolai. I feel like a full disciple now. You want your mon arm modified? Please allow me. Now you get a good deal. Oh, we've got a bookshelf to read first. Controlling a golem. Would you like to read it? Golems are voice activated by a pre-registered voice. They can also be controlled by a musical instrument uh, being played at a certain frequency. Apple. There it is. I am Nikolai Maxwell. I'm the armsmeister in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of the six who studied at the old man's lab. The... Aha. Remember Rudy's name? Remember what I said about um, there being a bit of a mistranslation? By the way, that should be Jepet, not Zepet. The Japet Rough Knight Laboratory led in the study of ancient technology. And you? Uh, my name's Rudy Rough Knight. 
What? Rudy Rough Knight? You're the old man's grandchild? Sorry, we used to call Mr. Jeppet the old man. Or Meister Jeppet. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. Um, that was the grave that was in the intro sequence. Rudy starts to talk about his days, his Dream Chaser days, before he met Jack and Cecilia. There's Jepet with Rudy. Just walking along this path with a bunch of other people walking in the other direction. Jepet Rough Knight. He thought of Jepet as his father. He was an old dream chaser who had raised Rudy since infancy. It I swear that's not a stick, it looks like he's throwing like hot dogs directly into the fire. Don't know why. During their travels, Jepet taught Rudy the life of the Dream Chaser. Most importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. One day, the inevitable happened. The old man's traveling days came to an end. Rudy was now tasting the true meaning of being alone. See? This is from the opening. We're finally getting all the sequences from the opening. Rudy buried the remains of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. Remember, Rudy is who I believed I was. The way I viewed myself. Not that I've had... Well, actually, since then, I have had to help bury a parent, but... Sorry to hear that. He was... Oh, wow, that's quite the arm you've got there. Talk about anything less depressing. You know how to use it properly? Guess the arm wouldn't have synchronized with you if you didn't know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with an arm, but not nearly as powerful as what you've got there. Hello, Jane. Papa, I'm home. What are you guys doing at my house? Jane, do you know these people? No, no, Papa. I just met them a little while ago. Why are you in such a hurry? Uh, I'll be upstairs. Okay, bye-bye. Jane's a good daughter. It's because of her that I can keep the orphanage running. Go to the southeast and cross the shallow water. There you can find the epitaph of the sea wind. The uncompleted tower we used in the research of a flight machine. The Meister Jepet and myself left... Uh, the research Meister Jepet and I left behind maybe a junk to some. You'll find a use for it. Take this key. May look funky, but it'll get you inside. Many of Jepet's belongings from before Rudy was born are still there. Thank you for what you have done for my mistress. We will be holding a humble banquet on your behalf. The mistress is waiting for you. Hope you have a good time. You say the same thing to everybody? Yes. Okay. Because, hint, he has the hot sorority. I thought she said she was going to be upstairs. Apparently not. Okay. Must be outside. Yep, right there. Hey, you didn't tell my pop some Calamity Jane, did you? I'll never forgive you if you gave him even the slightest hint. Seriously, he's a um, protagonist. He's not going to say anything to me. Okay. That's actually it here. So we're going to save and continue on because we're not even at time yet. Um, I thought there was a weapon shop here. Did I just miss it? Oh, I don't need to rest. Derp. I swore there was an armor shop here, and not just the ring shop. In perch. 
See, she doesn't even say bless the one who lives for today. It's just like, purify, done. And get out of my sight. Yeah, there's the rings. Just the regular items. There's crest crafts over there. I think that's it. Okay. This work where Siam had weapons. Oh well. Well, in that case, I'm gonna buy a couple rings. And we will be back to buy the rest, but I specifically need these two. Because it's my only way of getting light and dark attacks right now. Ooh. Meow. The kitty cam just doesn't work as well over here, unfortunately. But there's something here. Sacred Shrine. Let's go there, because I'm distracted by Ushiny. And by Kitty. Barrier will prevent the demons from entering. Yeah, we'll be back here later. This isn't the one I was thinking of. There's a lot of secret-ish places that are just kind of look like holes in the wall type of thing. Oops. The fun part is that they didn't even think about shooting hand pan out. It's kind of sad that way, actually. But we'll be back here later. But for now, we need to get our golem friend. Across this little passage. See, you notice how it's not zooming in, but if I get out, it starts zooming in immediately. It's the epitaph of the sea, not the epitaph C. Alright. So, first thing is first. We'll go through the part that we're not supposed to go through first. Oh, hey, look, we can't do anything. Fine game, play it your way. So, we've got that item that got handed to us, the uh, wind-up key. Some kind of mechanical device, it seems trashed. I'm gonna actually move this toward the top temporarily. Now it's definitely trash. And yes, there are enemies here. Um, one thing I wanted to look up. My notes, is there a unique thing in here? Alright, I'm just, um, Yes. There is something in here that I need to keep track of. Although I'm pretty certain it's impossible not to get that. Okay. Habarim. Habarim? Habarim. What do Habarim have? Habarim. Habarim. They have magic carrots. I think they might be weak against evil. I don't remember. Magic carrot. Until I can buy them, it's worth stealing them. Level 30. 500. Oh, they're weak against holy. They cast high flame? So this is the upgraded version of flame, by the way. It's mean that the game gets to use it before I do. I might. Flame tongue. Ow. Holy ring. And notice it's an offensive attack and not defensive. I think the other ones might actually cast the level 2 versions of spells. And yeah, that thing is dead. That kind of looks like an owlbear, except an owl snake. Owl snack? A being an owl snack? 
That's the thing, yeah. I've decided. This place is huge, by the way. As in, just large rooms, not complicated or anything. We're at 50 minutes at this point, but... Ugh. Okay. You know what? Meteor dive your ass. Meteor dive enough to kill him? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can heal. That's fine. Yeah, their healing's terrible anyway. I'm not too concerned about that. All right. We've got a conveyor belt. Ends with a potion berry. So this took me forever to find. For some reason, I would just walk over here and go, oh, what's this? And not notice the wall that I can bomb right here. I remember spending days trying to find how to continue. And then dying horribly afterward, because this has um, I believe the TV trope for this is called a wake-up boss. Yeah, it's definitely a wake-up boss, as in this boss will kill your ass dead. You might as well cure your own silence through... Uh, it's... There's that. Park, there it is. Mystic, silver harp, for your own silence. Oops, no, do not quit, please. I go. No other bits of loot in here. More zone enders? or zone makers? No. Um, Melcluis? Melcluis. Melcluis. They have potion berries. I actually can't get potion berries right now, so I am going to steal. And analyze. And prism ray. Berry. Got it. All right. I dealt 237, so they actually have decent defense. They only have 400 hit points, though. And they're weak against Thunder. Okay. Mind damage! Are you attacking Rudy? Yeah, you are. You fool. That does MP damage for reference, so I'm going to annihilate them when I can. That time you're attacking Cecilia, though. That's gonna hurt. Yep, 13 MP damage from the energy phase. Phew! Ow! Actually hurts quite a bit. Here, eat some plasma. Or prism. Alright. They're gonna get sparked. Although that gave nice rewards. I think that might have doubled my money. I needed to not step on it. I needed to go on the outer part. Derp. Brick store. You need that potion berry. Fine damage. Oh, you're doing it to Jack. That's gonna suck. If 
Hi, please? Yes. I mean, if I had a spark ring, that would be nice, but I don't. I can only afford so much. Mostly because I keep donating Datalide. All right, next floor. No, the door! Are we trapped? Someone has trapped us in. I'm ready, I'll kick as many butts as I have to to get us out of here. Up. Oh. I'm with me. It's a maze, by the way. You have to follow Lucid. I don't remember what happens if you don't. I think the door just doesn't open. My master awaits. A vibration. Who's a guardian? The only guardian who hasn't lost its powers. The guardian of desire. Lucid, the black wolf. Did she lock us in here? Oh boy. I don't think it's this hall. Yeah, it is. Alright. Oh boy. Um, I should probably save and stop here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to continue on. Because I want to finish this. Turn that towards Boo's adorable face. Oh, you were supposed to stay there, Kimi. And device seals the door. Oh yeah, I should use some of my apples. I keep forgetting that I have so many of them. Um... Mystic Apple, as we found out from the, yeah, let's analyze Wild Arms. Cecilia is the only one that should probably ever have Mystic Apples. And yes, you'll notice that it did go up by two instead of by one. That's because of her equipment. It's percentage-based. Power Apple is for strength. Party Apple is for defense. Angel Apple is for knit. I should have kept one. Whoops. And power. Go like that for now. Can't go down there yet. Yep. Little mousey hole. That's big. Storm Drake, do you have anything cool? Storm Drake. Yes, you do. Oh boy, do you have something cool. Yes, please. Analyze. Punch in the face. Probably has a lot of hit points. No, I will steal. I kind of want it. Level 30 has gobs of hit points. Weakness is water. Eh, doesn't hurt that much yet. I'm sure it has an ability somewhere. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm trying to steal from it before I kill it. So I'm not doing serious damage. Attacking Cecilia for more damage than she did to it. Okay. Please just let me steal from you. Kind, kind Storm Drake. steal? Dang it! I might actually try to in intentionally encounter this to steal. That's how much I want it. 
That's not the ability I wanted to have happen. It's dead. For some reason, I thought that one was the um, increases dodge rate. Metal Bird was acquired. This book contains theories and applications for the flying machine known as the Metal Bird. Called the history of Artica. Would you like to read it? The Industrial Society of Artica. Yep, that's right. They weren't medieval. They were industrial revolution. A country bound in ice and snow, yet it holds life true. The technologies found among the many ruins around Artica have made this place a paradise in ice. There's still much to discover in the ruins of Artica. The Wind Sea. The great magic of the ancient days has called the ever-stretching sky above our heads. The legendary metal bird tra once traveled the wind sea with eloquence. Those were the days when people held the reins to the skies. Can we ma be masters of the sky once again? Keep in mind, this is um, Jepet Rough Knight's uh, home, basically. There's a little book entitled Erotica. Would you like to read it? Not yet! Ah, uh, that's a running joke in each of the Wild Arms games, I think. I know it's in 1, 2, and 3. I don't think it's in XF. I don't know past that. Password? The ones who seek the ocean wind. You shall receive the gift of flight! Uh, I think it's Metal Bird, I want to say? I was right. Good. And we're gonna save again. Why? Bad things are gonna happen. It's getting late, and I'm sorry for I'm not talking as much because I'm tired. I had a rather rough night full of nightmares. Mostly to deal with harming my kitties. Blue Kitty is not cooperating and facing the camera. Ah, two Geldums and a Harborine. By the way, does, do Geldums actually have anything? I think they might have an antidote or something. Geldum. Potionberry. Oh, okay. Eh, actually, I'm going to save my MP. Oh, that's right. I can... Flame Tongue. Punch. Death did. Poison. Boo. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you what mysticking those rings do. Let's mystic a holy ring. If we're going to Mystic a Holy Ring, I think I'm going to do that to that one. Need to heal. Because that one's going to die from Jack. Mystic! Holy Ring power was released. Saint has been activated. That's the Saint spell. Notice how much damage it does. Gildums aren't weak against Holy. It does that much damage. Do you see now why I want to make sure I have each of those rings? They're really, really awesome. just happen to have a crap ton of duplicators. Battle! Is it a giant lizard? I really hope it's a giant lizard. It's not. These things again. Just wanted it to be a giant lizard. Is that too much to ask?
Press graph. Secret sign. Bullet clip. Yep, I have two spare secret signs, so let's drop Trickster down by two more MP. And we can no longer turn around. You may think I'm being overly paranoid. I'm not. Oh, that's right. Not quite yet. Duel skates. When Rudy uses the roller skates to travel, Rudy can maneuver through different terrains without being affected by damage zones on the ground. Yep. So Rudy can now skate. He has gained his third ability. Just like that. It's like running, except I can't control anything. But I can run over anything. That's part of the reason why everything is so large here. Because it's assuming that you're skating everywhere. We're saving again. Because again, there's bad things here. Really bad things. And I know I'm over on time. I don't care. That much. Epitaph of the Sea game. Full revive. Yeah, that's never a good sign when the game's giving you a full revive, may I note. There's a really good chance I might need all of them. Sunmakers, great. Can you just die, please? Thank you. Expecting that to actually happen. Running low on hillberries. All right, we're at the surface. Yes, you are going to equip that. So if I remember right. Yeah, that's actually a healthy amount of defense. Well, the hit points might be better. I don't know. Although I just noticed that my luck can use some help. I will do everything possible to survive this, thank you very much. Darn it. It got buried in my inventory. I think it would blow up. Explosion occurred because of a buildup of internal pressure. What? In English, please! English! The energy level got too high in too close of a space. You know what happens when energy overloads? Got it. Blows up. I'm gonna apply that knowledge to a new fast draw technique. Fast draw! Also, you can't be attacked while you're skating. Ah, darn it. Here we go. This is where the pain is gonna start hurting. Human warriors. What do you wish to carve in this epitaph? This is the resting place of the dreams of the sea, Windseeker. Yep. New demon? This one seems a little different. I see that you have followed Lucid's directions well. Lucid? The Guardian of the You already said it was Lucid, Cecilia. Why? Why are you siding with the demons? My name is Boomerang. Here's a little something I've cooked up for your party. Boomerang is a wake-up boss. I should mention, Boomerang is a hell of a lot harder to fight, especially since he's always accompanied by Lucid. So, um, we need to fight and do crap tons of damage. I don't believe Boomerang drops anything, nor does Lucid, if I remember right. Or, um, he might drop something, but, uh, he doesn't actually have anything I can steal from him, right? Right, okay. Yield. I forgot to organize this again. Yield Cecilia. 
Uh, punch loose in the face. Yep, that didn't work. 487. Crescent Fang. It's the weak attack. It did 376 damage. Black Fang. It's a weak attack. It did 825 damage. You see now why I was raising her? Yeah. This is gonna hurt. A lot. Crescent Fang. Oh, hey, look. Boomerang goes first. At least Boomerang didn't attack Cecilia. Lucid, on the other hand, is. So the first time I played this, the only way I was able to defeat them was by equipping goat dolls on my entire party. You don't get that many goat dolls in the game. Uh, you can buy them much later on, like at the end, basically. But, uh, yeah. Accelerator, Heal Blade, Cecilia. Cecilia, how about you shield yourself for the third time? Rudy, Arm Lock On, Rocket Launch. Yeah, he's going to not be doing rage for a while and just arm or lock on and rocket launcher instead because boomerang dynamic Tonk. that did 700 damage to rudy all right so you should be able to survive a pair of hits now Jack, you are on heal blade duty because you are way better at healing Rudy than Cecilia is. Now it's time to start dropping their defense. Accelerated heal blade. I would love to use Sonic Vision, but I need the healing. Bang on Cecilia, it looks like. Yeah. At least that's down to 600. Yeah. Armor down. Worked. Okay, good. That should help a little bit for Rocket Launch. Not really that much. I don't think Lucid actually has that much in the way of. Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, defense, now that I'm looking at it. Really wish she had her third tier force ability. Slow down. Rang. Punch Lucid in the face. I don't like the fact that Rang goes first, basically, and it throws me off. Because it means Jack's the one that has to heal. Yeah, Rudy's down to 76 hit points. Accelerate, heal blade, Rudy. Cecilia, you're going to mystic things. Uh, specifically, I think it's time for you to mystic... Sure, we'll go with demon ring, Lucid. It shouldn't matter. Arm lock on, rocket launcher, lucid. Once I take out one of them, it becomes easier to deal with both. Although I think technically I only have to fight Boomerang, but I like taking out lucid first. Because that's my best magical attack. And lucid got taken out. Good. This makes things easier because lucid at this point is actually stronger than Boomerang. Just go twice. No, that's right. I slowed him down. Alright. I can actually do proper management of things now. Notice that I'm actually running low on bullets. 
That was a regular critical hit. That's not what I was going I know I could meteor dive. I'm trying to actually get that down. All right, everybody's at or near maximum hit points. Boomerang dynamic. Yeah, without all of the defense boosts, that can actually kill Sicilian one hit. Because why not? Uh, actually, just kill yourself, Cecilia. Ah, it's gonna go off. So, Blast Charge doesn't do that much damage, but it hits everyone for a little bit. I don't even need to heal at that point. Alright. Now that you've got that mastered, just Meteor Dive. We are going to be Mysticking. Holy Ring. Sure. They do the same amount of damage. It's the same, just different element. That just does not do that much damage right now. Faint. I mean, Cecilia is actually doing more damage than Jack now. That's because Cecilia is effectively using Tier 2 magic now. That's a thing. I can not bother to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm running dynamic. Jack is actually fairly weak. Uh, I can have Jack heal himself. I'd rather have Cecilia continuing to use Saint. Though, actually, no. I'm going to Sonic Vision. And I'm still going to have Cecilia use Saint. I'm going to just try to finish it off. It. I'm going to try to finish Boomerang off. That's a teeny. Boomerang uses male pronouns. Yep. Gone. Pathetic fools going up against the demon, the demon race. 800 XP, and Rudy leveled up. No money. The cycle of desire never ends. Lucid lives. Yep. Lucid can respawn itself. Or herself. You wish to defeat me, you must attain the miracle you seek. You can win that for yourself. I shall appear again. It's just testing us. And drive. That's what we came here for. Okay, we actually made it. Holy crap. On the first try, too. Now we can go back down here that we couldn't go through before. Duplicator. Talisman. Is Talisman more money, was it? Oh no, it's just regening hit points. Yeah. Alright. So by the way, the big lizard, what it actually drops is a thunder ring. Or what you can steal from it is a thunder ring. Okay, so I'm going to walk back to Court Siam and save. And that's it. I know, this has gone on quite a bit longer than an hour. But I really wanted to defeat Boomerang. Court Siam. Yep, reload ammo. What am I doing on money? Decent amount of money. 
Yes, I would like to stay here. Use some small flowers. Oh, everybody actually maintains their luck. Nice. Save and then stop for the night. Go to bed in my case. Um, tomorrow's Sunday, so I don't have anywhere I have to be. But the day after, I have to be in at work at 6 in the morning. So, I'm going to make sure I don't stay up too late. Also, Rudy is three levels higher than Cecilia. What the heck? Cecilia, why are you so low on XP? Okay. Well. <sighs> good night. Maya says good night. Also, that's being reflected. There. Oh, I just realized. Probably not have the clear chime equipped. That'll work. I'm gonna resave just so I don't have to redo that. Up here, boo. There. Now we have a boo kitty. Right there. button trying to do that while holding camera to point at boo anyway good night internet